Welcome to One Place Review of Empire Four Kingdoms, perhaps the most robust and elaborated strategy our platform has ever seen. Not only are you tasked with the hard labor of developing your castle, you will also need to take equally great care of your army and defenses. But can glory on the battlefield bring you extra earnings? Find out in this video. As we mentioned, Empire Four Kingdom sports a much more advanced combat and development system. In essence, with the three commanders, equipment, defense and attack stats, and so on, it somewhat resembles Crypto Dynasty. Except for, well, you won't only take the offensive role in this game. The game will take you through the basics, so we'll skip the construction part. For now, let's talk about the two things that you can earn in the game, coins and rubies. Coins are essentially the backbone of your castle's economy. There are tons of ways to earn them, so we group these into three tiers – combat, trade and pickup. Earning coins through combat is pretty straightforward. You get these for victory regardless of whether you lead the siege or defend your castle. Additional stacks of coins await those who partake in the events spawned in a special tent outside. We recommend making use of the week-long protection to bolster your defenses and attack the robber baron castles as often as you can. To set up your defenses, go to the military menu and tab on defense. To venture off for yet another glorious crusade, go to navigation and find the baron's castle. Don't forget to keep your manpower in check in the barracks. You need to have enough combatants to secure victory. The defense and siege tools will help and can be crafted in respective workshops. When talking about trade, we mostly mean the traveling merchant camped outside of your castle. You cannot sell anything to him, but you can exchange rubies for coins. Alternatively, you can dispose of commander's equipment that you don't need in exchange for some gold. Later on, you will be able to sell resources to other kingdoms for coins and exchange with residents of the event tent. Finally, there's pickup. These kind of rewards in coins are granted for your in-game progress or even at random. These include daily tasks, check-ins and your activity rewards that you will find close to the upper right corner. There are also quests that can vary from sieges and construction to tax collection. You can get rubies and awesome loot by completing these too. Since we mentioned tax collection, let's cover it in a greater detail. Every now and then you can collect some coins from your dwellers. This is more of a passive income and you are free to choose intervals that you are most comfortable with. Sometimes citizens will donate coins out of the goodness of their hearts. Look for the coins icon over their heads. Occasionally you will discover treasure chests around your castle that may contain coins and other valuable items. You can also try your luck at a wheel of fortune, but this requires some initial investment and isn't really all that reliable. Now let's talk about precious rubies. Just like coins, this can be found in treasure chests or acquired through combat check-ins, activity rewards, quests, daily tasks and the Wheel of Fortune. You will also get these every time you level up, plus if you feel like it, you can spend some in the Fortune Teller's tent for a chance to get double of that back. If you're not strongly opposed to ads, there are 20 rubies available for each one you watch just above the activity rewards. The simplest and probably the most exciting thing about it is that the higher your level is, the more ears you can get with Wombly. For every milestone you clear, we will send thousands of Wombucks your way to convert into Eos later on. For more info, find the Empire for Kingdom style in the tab Earning Games Carousel and tap a click on Show Details. An unorthodox view and a lot of elements might make the game seem harder to get used to than it actually is, but we know that our seasoned Wombly players who already aced Forge of Empires and Elvina will find a greater depth and interconnection of mechanics very refreshing. The fact that you can easily set your empire on the way to prosperity without investment makes it all even better. Considering that and our crypto bonus, we give Empire 4 Kingdoms 5 out of 5 Wombucks for earning score. Looks like we're all set for another successful siege here. The only thing that's missing is you in our Wombplay Empire Alliance. Subscribe if you liked the video and join our Wombat Gamers Discord server to get the latest announcements and connect with other play-to-earn gamers. Ciao!